Hi, my name is Tom Hattie and I'm the author and creator of a new YouTube channel uh, dedicated to mixed martial arts and boxing. Today we're looking at the career of Arthur Baturbiev, the undisputed world light heavyweight champion. Uh, originally he comes from Russia. I believe now he fights out of Canada. Now, one of the most amazing things about Baturbiev's boxing career is his knockout power, knockout ratio. He has 20 straight wins by knockout. And some of these actual opponents are, are very good fighters. Let's just pinpoint the very good fighters. Callum Smith, very good. Anthony Yard, very good. Joe Smith, very good. Alexander Govozdik, very good. Callum Johnson, very good. Um, I mean, to knock these um, boxers out is actually an amazing uh, tribute to his skill set. His last fight was against the um, the Russian Dmitry Bivol. Uh, and it's an interesting classic style up between a boxer and a, a fighter, a puncher. Whereas Baturbiev is the puncher, uh, Bivol, Bivol is the consumer boxer. Uh, we know that it was uh, decided on points and it was so close that you could argue that um, some people would take the view that it was probably a draw as opposed to a victory for uh, Baturbiev. So this is Baturbiev celebrating his victory over Bivol. Just to remind you the cut of what actually happened during the fight. Well, everyone believes that Bivol won rounds one and two. Uh, most people, most commentators agree that Baturbiev won um, 10, 11 and 12. Most commentators believe that uh, Baturbiev won five and six. I think the issue would be number seven. Did he win number seven? There's certainly some controversy there. And the controversy is definitely going to lead up to a second match, a rematch. This is Bivol on the left. This is Baturbiev on the right. Uh, now he's fought some other fighters. Uh, they're, not as, they're not as good as uh, Bivol, but they, they, are, they are very good comparatively. I mean, Callum Smith, Callum Johnson, and Anthony Yard, they are all extremely fine boxers. They came up short against Baturbiev, um, but that doesn't alter the fact that they're class acts. Not to Bivol's level of ex excellence, but class acts. Uh, also, Joe Smith down here from the UK, and uh, Gavosdik over here. You know, these are also very good fighters. They don't quite match Bivol, but they're very good fighters. So let's think about his strengths and weaknesses. Okay, what makes um, Arthur Baturbia very special? Well, firstly, he's undefeated. Uh, he's um, undisputed world title holder in the light heavyweight division. He has incredible knockout power. Uh, before the Bivol contest, he had a 100% knockout ratio in his professional career. He maintains a strong guard and a wide stance. Now, he has a lot of technical skills. These involve well-designed jabs, hooks and uppercuts. He trains on these relentlessly every day. Uh, in the ring, he has great endurance and resilience. He doesn't waver even against tough opponents. He has accurate distance management. He knows how to manage distance, engage opponents and counter with precision. All right, so we know what he's good at. What isn't he good at? I mean, is there anything that you can say that that this guy is not good at? Well, stylistically, there are some uh, issues here. Uh, he's very stationary, which means that um, he's easy to hit if you're a very mobile fighter. Uh, his head does not move um, in the correct manner. He doesn't use a lot of head movement. Now, up to now, he hasn't met fighters who have been able to take advantage of that. I think the Bivol would have been able to take advantage of that if he had hit a bit harder. Um, but that's something, the footwork and the head movement is something that uh, Baturbiev needs to look look at. Uh, now, even though we've said he's, he's uh, defeated uh, several top uh, fighters, you know, good, very good fighters, some of them world cha ex world champions. That's absolutely true. He hasn't met everyone in the division. There are some top fights to be made in the division, uh, even given into taking into account the fact that there will probably be a bivol return.